I came in as a brother photographer of, of Morgan and I was assigned to talk about Morgan's professional photography life. And I honestly can't because all we ever did was music. Morgan was, was not there to do photography or, or even worry about all the provisions that were being offered. He was there to jam, doggone it. And um, yeah, I did take a lot of pictures of him. We never saw him with a camera. He was there for the music and he always brought the water. Music and water are what sustain us. And he brought a case of water and was a sustainer to every time he played. He was a generous host with a fundamental understanding of what was important to keep us hydrated and to keep us jamming. He was also the Dean of the Continuous Tone Club, the few musicians in our group who weren't strumming or plucking on strings. And he complained about his limitations. He said, I just play the melody and nothing else. But he played the melody like Mel Torme played the melody. He played with the vocalisms of a jazz singer. He, he had the style, the musicality to sell any song, and he played them pretty much note perfect considering the limitations of his instrument. Um, there was a saw player in the 50s, uh, Robert Pritikin, who had a recording called There's a Song in My Saw, and uh, 50 years later, Morgan topped him. He had a voice in his saw. There was a human voice coming out playing and singing songs and providing actual music out of a strip of metal that mostly could just cut your arm off and that's about it. He never even needed that can of band-aids he kept on the front of his rig, but uh, listening to, to our music, which I did for the last few days, is heartening to hear how our, our group of very eclectic musicians from every direction responded to Morgan, his personality and his music, and just engulfed him like a paramecium engulfs a, a, an amoeba and makes it part of what we did. So any Cook song could develop a saw solo at any time. And that's not what you'd expect. And that was a real joy and a, and a pleasure to hear. Um, <laughs> Any Cook song, Beatles, Motown, Haydn, you name it. They all got the treatment. The musical saw is capable of continuous glissando. The sound creates an ethereal tone, very similar to the theremin. The musical saw is classified as a plaque friction idiophone with direct friction, 132.22, under the Hornbostel sax system of musical uh, instrument classification. In case you were wondering, Morgan, thank you for the playing, thank you for the water, thank you for the example of a cheerful and happy person doing everything we did together. Thank you, you will not be forgotten, that's for sure. Thank you folks for being here and being part of this circle because we're all here temporarily and now there's one less of us and remember how precious we are to each other.